All right, so this video lesson is going to be a combination of me doing a tutorial on the music in front of me, but also me attaching a link to the same lesson that I'm going to send out of an artist playing this song that I really want you to study. See if you can figure out what he's doing, because if anybody can do it, you can, okay? So the song has just been stuck in my head, and I can't get it out of my head. It's Folsom Prison Blues. Now, this is the version I have in front of me right now. I'm still trying to figure out where I'm, I'm going to probably capo it, to be honest with you. It has a very simple tab written at the top, which, of course, we could you could go into a lot more than that. But as it goes through during this solo, what I'm going to want you to really listen to is not so much the Johnny Cash version, but the Brad Paisley version of this, because he... It's quite the player, and he is all over the place. Now, he is doing different chords. I believe instead of E being his first chord, he's doing G, I want to say. Something like that. I, I looked it up before. But, at any rate, I just would really like to see what you can come up with, because your ear is so good. And see if you can figure out some of the notes he's doing. He's going very fast. Now, one thing that definitely would be... A benefit if you want to start playing at that level which I think you do <laughs> is for you to know and understand the notes on your fretboard to actually know the letter names and the notes and of course reading them on the staff knowing how they're placed on the staff that is really pretty easy to do you can learn a few at a time as you go through that's for sure but um, and there are method books for that there are there are tutorials for that we can work that out I know that guy definitely knows his notes. There's no way he can do all his stuff and he's only knowing 7, 6, or 12 or something. I mean, he I'm sure he knows and knows what it sounds like or feels like when he's singing, too. But anyway, the simple tab we have here. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2. That's how it ends. It ends. It's how it starts. This little intro. Da 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 da. Got to bend it. And goes into E. I hear the train coming. It's rolling down the beat. We have A, E, I want me to, <laughs> and then B7, E. Those are really the only chords you need. Now, during the song, bam. Uh, you could do something like that. But he does a way more than that. He's doing a bunch of stuff. It's something like that as it's in there. It's going real fast to, of course, the same chord progression. Maybe E to C, E7 it says. Then A. E again.
But man, you gotta hear that other part. I'm telling you, it's gonna make it's gonna be life changing if you listen to it. Hey, good guitar playing transcends across music lines, whether it be rock, a good country player, a good classical player. There are certain qualities about the playing that you can appreciate it no matter what your favorite style of music is. I gotta say, you know, with classical playing, man. Just manipulation of the fretboard, so amazing to watch. Same thing with this Brad Paisley. When you watch him, you're going to be like, I was mesmerized. <laughs> and I thought the other day, I was like, oh my goodness, look at that. I had no idea he could play like that. You know, really, it not paid attention. And all of a sudden now, it's got my full attention. You know, just great playing. Really great playing. So many times the singer people aren't the ones doing all that playing. It's oftentimes the band doing it, and they're maybe just playing light chords or not hardly playing at all. Not not this guy. This guy's playing it and singing it and playing it. He kind of reminds me of, um, well, a, an older country artist that's no longer with us. Glenn Campbell did that. A magnificent player. If you watch his hands, oh my gosh, he's all over the fretboards like, good gosh, playing all that stuff, just going crazy. So it's kind of like that, but I would I would really love to see what you do with it. At any rate, just look into it and see what you think. Um, you can look at this song, you can look at another song, but I think this song is kind of, I'm going to send you this one because it's just in my brain, and I, I think you'd enjoy it because, man, I enjoyed it when I saw it, so maybe you will too.